Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to review the GNU Hyper Key R, Blake Paul's board of choice. This board is available in four sizes, 154, 157, 160, and 159 wide. This board features GNU's C2X camber profile, which is a little more pronounced reverse camber between the feet and camber underfoot. That way you can lock it into carbs and you still get snap and pop, but you get that play of reverse camber between the feet. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that kind of started out with sunny bluebird skies, a little bit of snow on the groomers, you know. It was warmer temps, and then as the day went on, a storm rolled in and started spitting out grapply snow. It was a uh, little bit colder temps, the snow was starting to freeze, you know, there's like chunder and shit all over the run. And I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. Look at it, clearly directional flex to this, but it's a very playful directional flex. So you have a softer nose, a slightly stiffer midsection, and then a stiffer tail that is only slightly more stiff than the nose with a lot of torsional flex. This board is very lively, which means it's not like crazy damp. It's one of those boards that you're gonna feel every contour in the snow underfoot. You get going at speeds and that tip is just gonna flap and all that energy is gonna resonate right back underfoot. It's like a shock wave just going into that front binding. You get into like really weird terrain where it's just super rutted out or you're in the trees and stuff, this board's gonna bend and flex with every contour. It's one of those boards that not, not damp at all, very lively. This board C2X camber profile has a lot of rebound to it, but it's very easy to engage. It's one of those boards that has a pop that you don't really have to load it up, it's more skate-like. You're just riding along and then all of a sudden you spring and there's just gonna be that rebound and you're gonna pop versus having to aggressively load it up be a little more calculated. You can be a little more laid back with this board and just know that you're still gonna get good pop with it. This board handles jumps well, it handles snow transitions, anything like that that you can put in front of it with ease. I would say that bigger features, it just doesn't have that stiffness that you want when you're coming down in the landing so it might wash out, but small to medium sized stuff, got you covered for sure. Let's talk about the sweet spot on this board. It's right outside the camber zone and the nose and the tail. And it's immense and it's playful. You can really press into the nose or tail on this board and just do any variation of a butter with it without regard for your own personal safety. I mean, this board will just flex like you wouldn't believe, but there's still rebound to it, which is nice because those camber zones will engage and pop you out of whatever you're doing. And that translates to how this thing's going to jip. It's one of those boards that slow or fast, you can really get weird on the rails and you can really lock in a press. The only thing I don't really like about this board on rails is how much reverse camber it has between the feet. It just doesn't really grip and hug right between the feet. It's more under the front foot or the back foot. This board will press and jib with the best of them. This board is so much fun to carve with. That softer, more freestyle flex really lets you manhandle and manipulate the board how you want. There's so much torsional flex that when you drive into the center of the board, you can lift up the nose of it and just push off that rear camber zone and slingshot it out of a turn. Short, tight, quick setup turns, long, hard, drawn out carves, deep Euro carves, weird ones where you're grabbing your toe edge and just riding on your heel edge and trying to do a full loop, it's got you covered. This board is designed for getting weird with carbs. Yeah, it's soft, you're flexing, it's not gonna be as stable, you can overpower it. But if you're one of those guys that likes to get weird and you understand a board will have limitations, here you go. So who's this board for? Someone that likes to carve and get buttery and be weird on their snowboard. Someone that's just gonna go out and do Yagoon carbs and hit the park and slash snow, someone that just wants to get fucking weird. I really enjoyed this board. I mean, it wouldn't be a daily driver for me because it's just not damp enough. It's very, very lively, but if you want to get weird and just carve your heart out and butter and just hit snow features, this is it. Kevin described it to me as a directional space case. I think it's slightly softer than a space case, 
but the directional nature of it definitely fits in there. It's one of those directional boards that you can go out and really just get freestyle focus with. Thoroughly enjoyed this board. Comparable boards, the Niche Maelstrom, the Ride Super Pig, the Wired Vantage Series. This has been my review of the GNU Hyper Key Arv. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you really want to see us grow out our snowboard content offering, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. It's the best way to support us. I could tell you more here, but I've got a video over there. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.